Good afternoon and welcome to this service of evening prayer. As we are in our third stage of lockdown, uh, we should be holding evening prayer uh, on Wednesdays for uh, the next few weeks until, well, until I guess we've no idea, but I guess it's probably for the next two, possibly even three months until Easter. Our readings today are from Psalm 47. Excuse me. Matthew chapter 21, verses 33 to the end. And Colossians chapter 2, verses 8 to 18. Psalm 47, Matthew 21, verse 33 to the end. And Colossians 2, verses 8 to 15. Attached to this link uh, should also be the link for you to uh, download or open up a copy of the evening prayer service. So let's pray. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, my God, how excellent is your greatness. You are clothed with majesty and honour, wrapped in light as in a garment. The sun knows the time for its setting. You make darkness that it may be night. O Lord, how manifold are your works. In wisdom you have made them all. The earth is full of your creatures. When you send forth your spirit, they are created. And you renew the face of the earth. May the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord rejoice in his works. I will sing to the Lord as long as I live. I will make music to my God while I have my being. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. That this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As our evening prayer rises before you, O God, so may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise, now and forever. Amen. Our opening reading is taken from Psalm 47. If I say the odd verses, if you would respond with the even verses. Clap your hands, all you nations. Shout to God with cries of joy. He subdued nations under us, people under our feet. God has ascended amid shouts of joy, the Lord amid the sounding of trumpets. For God is the King of all the earth. Sing to him a psalm of praise. The nobles of the nations assemble as the people of the God of Abraham. For the kings of the earth belong to God. He is greatly exalted. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Canticle. The glorious grace of God is freely bestowed upon us in the beloved. Blessed are you, the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, for you have blessed us in Christ Jesus with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places. You chose us to be yours in Christ before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and blameless before you. In love you destined us for adoption as your children through Jesus Christ, according to the purpose of your will, to the praise of your glorious grace, which you freely bestowed on us in the beloved. In you we have redemption through the blood of Christ, the forgiveness of our sins, according to the riches of your grace, which you have lavished upon us. You have made known to us in all wisdom and insight the mystery of your will, 
according to your purpose, which you set forth in Christ as a plan for the fullness of time, to unite all things in Christ, things in heaven and things on earth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. The glorious grace of God is freely bestowed on us in the Beloved. Our next reading is taken from the book of Colossians, chapter 2, beginning at verse 8. See to it that no one takes you captive through hollow and deceptive philosophy, which depends on human tradition and the basic principles of this world rather than on Christ. For in Christ all the fullness of the deity lives in bodily form, and you have been given fullness in Christ, who is the head over every power and authority. In him you were also circumcised in the putting off of the sinful nature, not with the circumcision done by the hands of men, but with the circumcision done by Christ, having been buried with him in baptism and raised with him through your faith in the power of God, who raised him from the dead. When you were dead in your sins and in the uncircumcision of your sinful nature, God made you alive with Christ. He forgave us all our sins, having cancelled the written code with its regulations that was against us and that stood opposed to us. He took it away, nailing it to the cross. And having disarmed the powers and authorities, he made a public spectacle of them, triumphing over them by the cross. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Verse 9 struck me as I read it. For in Christ, all the fullness of the deity lives in bodily form. Reminds me of that verse in the first chapter of the Gospel of John. The Word became flesh and lived among us. Our second reading, our Gospel reading today is taken from the book of Matthew chapter 21 beginning at verse 33. <clears throat> Listen to another parable. There was a landowner who planted a vineyard. He put a wall around it, dug a wine press in it and built a watchtower. Then he rented the vineyard to some farmers and went away on a journey. When the harvest time approached, he sent his servants excuse me, to the tenants to collect his fruit. The tenants seized his servants. They beat one, killed another and stoned a third. Then he sent more servants, more than the first time, and the tenants treated them the same way. Last of all, he sent his son to them. They will respect my son, he said. But when the tenants saw the son, they said to each other, This is the heir. Come, let us, let's kill him and take his inheritance. So they took him and threw him out of the vineyard and killed him. Therefore, when the owner of the vineyard comes, what will he do to those tenants? He will bring those wretches to a wretched end, they replied. And he will rent the vineyard to other tenants who will give him his share of the crop at harvest time. Jesus said to them, Have you never read in the scriptures? The stone the builders rejected has become the capstone. The Lord has done this, and it is marvellous in our eyes. Therefore I tell you that the kingdom of God will be taken away from you and given to a people who will produce its fruit. He who falls on this stone will be broken to pieces, but he on whom it falls will be crushed. When the chief priests and the Pharisees heard Jesus' parable, they knew he was talking about them. They looked for a way to arrest him. But they were afraid of the crowd, because the people held that he was a prophet. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <clears throat> Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and be not wise in your own sight. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and be not wise in your own sight. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he will make straight your paths. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and be not wise in your own sight. 
we come to the gospel canticle if i say the if we say the introduction together and if i say the odd verses and you respond with the even verses my spirit rejoices in you O god my soul proclaims your greatness my soul proclaims the greatness of the lord my spirit rejoices in god my savior he hath looked with favor on his lowly servant <clears throat> He has mercy on those who fear him from generation to generation. Casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. <clears throat> he has come to the aid of his servant Israel to remember his promise of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. My spirit rejoices in you, O God. My soul proclaims your greatness. <coughs> Excuse me. So let us turn to prayer. We pray today, Heavenly Father, for those on the front line, those who work in our hospitals, doctors, surgeries, for those who are community health workers, community midwives, for our police and ambulance service and firemen, we pray, Lord, that the vaccines that that we have will be successfully run out across the counties of this country that as many lives as possible will be saved and we pray for wisdom for men and women to consider their actions before putting themselves and others at risk <coughs> we pray for our prime minister and our queen members of the cabinet and those who make the decisions which affect the lives of the millions of people of this country we hold them before you we pray that they may think carefully about the decisions they make we pray for the peace of god to settle on this world where there is conflict there will be peace and harmony and forgiveness we pray particularly for the country of America at this time as they approach the inauguration of a new president with the issues surrounding the current one. And we hold that nation before you. Heavenly Father, we pray for your church and we thank you for it. We pray particularly for those churches that are struggling financially for the ministers of those churches, some who have received no income for some months. Lord, we pray you would bless your church, support it and strengthen it as it seeks to be a vehicle for people to come to faith in our Lord Jesus Christ. We pray for your church in Wath. We thank you for a different church and pray your blessing upon them. For those in our own church, be with those who are lonely and vulnerable, for those who feel frail, for those who are ill, and for those who have existing health issues which prevent them from going out. Be with them, we pray. But amidst all our prayers, we give thanks for the blessings of life, the blessing of another day, that this is the day that the Lord has made. And we give thank you, Lord, Give thanks to you, Lord, for your provision for this day, for yesterday, and in faith for tomorrow. We ask all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. <clears throat> now, can I encourage you to join with me in saying the words of the prayer that our Saviour taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those that trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom the power and the glory for ever and ever amen the collect kindle it in our hearts O god the flame of love which never ceases that it may burn in us giving light to others may we shine forever in your temple set on fire with your eternal light even your son jesus christ our savior and our redeemer amen the grace of our lord jesus christ and the love of god and the fellowship of the holy spirit be with us all evermore amen let us bless the lord thanks be to god amen Tomorrow morning, Thursday, uh, church will be open from 9.30 to 10.30 for private prayer. Please come suitably equipped with a mask and please make sure that you are uh, suitably distanced from the, the, the nearest person to you. Charles will be present uh, tomorrow morning as we have decided that whenever church is open for private prayer, only one of us will be there so that if one of us is unfortunate enough to uh, contract this dreadful disease, the other will still be free uh, to maintain ministry across the parish. Take care and keep safe. God bless. Goodbye.